Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, and thank you for joining me on my journey to better health. If you just do something to help with your physical health, it'll also help you with your emotional and mental health. You don't have to get an expensive gym membership. You can walk around your property. You can walk around the park. You can walk around the tracks. Schools have them. They're um, walking tracks, running tracks all around Atlanta. So you could do it for free. Just remember, 30 minutes is your goal. Get yourself there as you're able. You don't have to run out of the gate. Let me walk 30 minutes. If you've not walked one minute, move yourself up to 30 minutes. Start with a minute. I know it sounds funny and people wanna laugh, but if you do one minute of walking or jumping jacks or any cardio, guess what? That's a minute more than you did yesterday. And build yourself up. You may want to go from one minute to three minutes or five minutes. And then go from five minutes to ten minutes. Ten minutes to fifteen minutes. 15 minutes to 20, 25 to 30. And who knows, once you hit the goal of 30 minutes a day, you may increase it until you're walking for an hour, hour and a half or two hours. It's up to you, but you matter. Your mental health, emotional health, physical health, spiritual health, relational health, and financial health all matter. So you just have to take the time to put yourself first and to sacrifice. Do the things that you know will better you and will help you. It took a while for me to get to the mile mark, but you know what? The more I walked it, the faster I got to a mile. But then I thought about it. A mile is great, but if it doesn't last 30 minutes, I'm kind of defeating the purpose. So now, today, my goal is to walk for 30 minutes, nonstop, continuous. Not stop for a breather, not stop to catch my breath, but to walk continually for 30 minutes. Now, can I be honest with you? I went on vacation two weeks ago, or almost two weeks ago. I did not work out. I did not exercise. I didn't even eat right. Whew. Okay, see, my breathing. I didn't even eat right. I just vacationed. <laughs> and so when I got back, I made myself all kinds of promises. Well, I can promise you, I did nothing. I kept on the pattern that I created while I was on vacation. I didn't work out in the morning. I didn't follow my meal plan. I didn't take my vitamins. I wasn't drinking a lot of water anymore. As a matter of fact, I reverted back to old eating habits, bad eating habits. I wasn't drinking water, but I was drinking soda. I wasn't eating the scheduled times of my meal plan. I wasn't making the food in my meal plan. I was eating potato chips, salt content. And I told you, I suffer with high blood pressure. So the last thing that I need is salt. I felt the effects. My ankle started swelling. I started getting headaches. My blood pressure rose. Whew. And I even started having some chest pains, a little tightening, a little flutter. 
So <laughs> I hastened to my doctor and I told her everything I'm telling you. And she just looked at me with her eyebrow raised and said, okay, so what we're gonna do is increase your dosage. Now my goal was to get off medication. You all know me, I don't like medication. I'm more holistic, natural herbs, or as my daughter likes to say, my nuts and berries. <laughs> and so it hurt me after all this time to have to increase the dosage of medication I don't already want to take. But it was my punishment and the penalty for slacking, for not putting me first, for not putting my health first, for not being concerned that I'll be here 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 more years. So my goal is to do all the things I need to do not to go back to the lower dosage of medication, but to not need medicine at all. So what does that mean? After all the promises that I broke to myself, all the lies I told myself, I'm out here a little before eight walking and I'm not just walking for a mile, I'm walking for 30 minutes. That's where I'm beginning. That is not my end goal. My end goal is to walk for at least an hour. My goal is to begin to start to jog. My goal is to begin to run. And maybe one day, it's not a goal, we'll see how far I can go to maybe do like a, not a marathon, but something like that without being winded and to finish it. For me, <laughs> that would be a miracle because I have not been that healthy since my 30s, my early 30s. Remember, I used to be a trainer for a women's gym in Fairlawn, New Jersey. And boy, I used to work out. That's all I knew, working out and dancing. I was fit and trim. I was healthy. My doctor's visits were so easy. They were like, okay, the only thing I had was low iron. And that was remedied with different eating. Wasn't on any type of anything. I wanna get back to that. I wanna get back to the place where I don't need medicine to help a problem. I want to naturally be able to be healed from the problem and not have it again. So that means take sacrifice or it means to sacrifice and put yourself first. Listen, you matter. You're important to someone. Somebody loves you. Somebody needs you. So you need to be here. They can't have you in their lives if you're not here. So you have to make the conscious effort. I know you want that second piece of cake. I know you want the whole container of ice cream. You can't do it. That means that there's some things you cannot eat. There are other things that you can eat in moderation. Then there are things you just need to fix differently. You may not be able to fry everything. You may have to grill it, bake it, saute it, but it can be done. You don't have to, my thing was, and I'm gonna let you go. My thing was, if this is my life, <laughs> like the soap opera, we only have one life to live. Why am I going to choose to suffer and eat stuff I really don't want with a taste I don't want. What kind of living is that? Well, here's the thing. There are very clever ways of preparing food. You don't have to give up everything. That's why I like my meal plan. With my meal plan, 
I don't have to give up beef if I don't want to. I don't have to give up chicken or fish. I eat more vegetables and I get to choose the veggies I want. I eat more fruit. I get to choose the fruit I want. Everything is in moderation. The only thing I had to get used to was the amount of eggs I had to eat because, you know, I'm not a breakfast person. Not anymore. Now, growing up, my mom made sure we had breakfast every morning. And there was no such thing as a cold breakfast in the fall and winter time. It's too cold outside. So we had hot cereal. We had uh, farina. We had uh, oatmeal, not grits. The only time I had grits is when I went to my great aunt's, great aunt Phyllis's house. I knew nothing about grits for real um, until I went to her house. But we had hot cereal, we had eggs, we had pancakes. My mom makes the best pancakes on the planet, followed very closely by my Aunt Mary, my great Aunt Mary who passed away. Best pancakes. And then comes IHOP. But anyway, so I got out of the habit of eating breakfast when I left my mother's house. Now I would make breakfast for the kids but as far as me eating it, not a chance. I was too busy rushing. So I didn't do it for years. And you know, when you do something for a length of period of time, it becomes a habit. So now with this meal plan, I have to eat breakfast. And it's a blessing because I have more energy during the day. I'm also taking supplements. I take vitamins. And that helps. Um, my kids laugh at me because I take about 10 vitamins a day. Vitamins. And <laughs> it sounds like the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E. And on and on. Whew. Okay. I think I'm getting my second win, y'all. Um, I take a protein powder because guess what? What am I doing? I'm exercising and working out. So I need to build up so that I can lose. And guess what? I actually lost six pounds. I'm excited. I would be even more excited because I would have lost seven pounds, but I picked up a pound from my vacation laziness. So it's doable. I'm not at my target weight yet. I'm not at my target loss yet. I'm not at my target uh, exercise goal, but I'm getting there. Guys, just sacrifice and do it. Don't make up excuses. Throw on your sweats, throw on your leggings, throw on your hoodie, and just do it. You sitting there complaining and making up excuses, that's about 10 minutes you could have been working out already. And if walking and running is not your thing, there's so many cardio videos that you could do at home that are located on YouTube, YouTube University. I'm a dancer, so I like doing Zumba. So I have those days that it's raining and I can't come outside because you know, I'm brown sugar, I might melt. So those days that I don't like coming outside, I put on that 30 minute Zumba and I'm dancing and I'm moving and I'm burning calories. So this is my health tip for you today. Just do it. I kind of wish I had on a Nike sweatshirt so I could show you the swirl. Remember Bo Jackson, Bo does. Well, just do it. Do it for your life, your health, for your family and friends, for your business associates, for your associations, for people who need you in your life. But most importantly, do it for you. Start one day, one step at a time. It will become a habit. A habit that when you don't do it, you don't feel right. My body definitely did not feel right. And it let me know what is going on. So, I think I have about five more minutes on my 30-minute goal. I've already walked a mile. I am so excited that I am not passed out on the ground. Because it's definitely been over a week since I last exercised. I love you guys. You matter. I'll talk to you later.